when you follow my channel you will surely know that I'm very much interested in testing uh, some chips that were made in the past, especially in the 1970s, 1980s, etc, etc. And this is one of these chips. It is the LM317. And I've, ma I've now made a kind of test uh, circuit. I will show the schematic. This is the circuit as it is and at the moment I have connected two lamps, incandescent lamps. Uh, they normally work on 12 volts but now uh, of course for this demo purpose they work on uh, an other voltage and current of course uh, 8 volts out. Uh, well and perhaps interesting at first to show uh, the data sheet of this chip and it is the voltage regulator uh, published in this data book of the 1970s the LM317 and it is and was very popular. Uh, you can find many other uh, circuits on YouTube where this chip is discussed. Anyway, no problem with that, of course. Anyway, uh, so here we see the data sheet, and here we see how the chip has to be wired in. It's an adjustable regulator working from 1.2 volts up to 25 volts. And this is a circuit that I also have used, but uh, I will show how I have made it. Uh, this data book is from Analog Electronics. Uh, say uh, here is the logo we all know that this is a very good book and very interesting anyway uh, well let me show uh, more about that circuit this seems in a certain way somewhat unlogical anyway Uh, here we send in the voltage to that uh, voltage regulator chip. Uh, it, this is the input. I have uh, say show the circuit now as it is at the front. So the uh, right side here is the input. Here is the output, and here is the adjustment. And that adjustment is set by a voltage divider. Uh, uh, consisting of a 240 ohm resistor and a 2K5 potentiometer. You can see it here. This is the 2K5 potentiometer here. And here there is that uh, resistor. They both set the output voltage and uh, uh, like we know always uh, with a stabilized voltage regulator uh, when the current at the output changes the voltage may not change may not change so that's very important so I've connected here at the output these two 12 volt lamps let's see what happens and I have also connected at the output this voltmeter now the output voltage is 8 volts, this is the scale, 12 volts, 8 volts, and well, let's see what happens when we, and that's say the most important thing, 
when we are talking about voltage regulation uh, when a current here at the output goes higher the voltage must be stable so that's what I'm going to demonstrate now here are these two lamps uh, originally motor lamps made for 12 volts you can see that they glow a little bit they are glowing here but uh, the most important thing is of course when we change the say internal resistance of one of these lamps uh, does the output voltage stay the same? That's important. That is, say, is the crux, the most important thing about stable voltage regulation. With this chip, the LM317. The schematic again here. And thanks for watching, by the way. Here we set the, the voltage, the output voltage. And this is the input voltage. And of course, there is a maximum input voltage that this chip LM317 can endure. That is approximately 30 volts. Watch the data sheet when you want to know more. Anyway. So this is a circuit and here you see a 10 microfarad capacitor uh, with this, with these two parts. And here you see exactly the same, say they are in a certain way decoupling units to prevent that such a chip can start to oscillate. That's always important when a chip regulator chip starts to oscillate you have a big problem anyway so um, what will be next and that's now here I hope I can demonstrate it now we have here at the output of the chip 8 volts well when the output current changes and it is a real voltage stabilizer uh, the 8 volt must stay the same when the output current is higher so now you can surely see here I shortcut one of the lamps the output current is higher surely One of the lamp lamps is shortcut, but the voltage, output voltage, stays the same. 8 volts in all cases. So that means that this uh, LM317 chip works properly. So. Uh, Pen out somewhat here again. These are these two lamps again. Now one lamp is active. But at the same time, perhaps you can read it, the voltage stays the same. 8 volts. So higher current, same voltage etc etc correct me when I'm wrong anyway I think this chip works very good of course there is say a limited maximum voltage where this chip can work could be 30 volts in general anyway look at the data sheet and it is in this Linear data book. Linear data book. 
of the 1970s on page uh, well voltage regulators LM317 uh, well of course it's not very handy that I don't know the exact page but you can surely find it there uh, well thanks for watching it's a useful chip and of course now I have overloaded it with these two automotive lamps it also gets very hot uh, I needed here a heat sink that is also extremely hot at the moment but that has everything to do with the overloading of this uh, L um, 317 chip so uh, it needs say a smaller output current and you can surely find more information about it the maximum uh, say healthy output current that this chip can bring on the world wide web and the data sheet Turn the potentiometer now, let's see what happens. Of course, when the voltage gets down, the voltage drop is more fierce, and that means that the chip here gets more hot. Anyway, kind of Ohm's law. Of course, we know Ohm's law. I now go to say 15 volts. Let's see what happens here. Uh, set the volt, align the voltage a little bit between say 10 volts and 12 volts. So I think this is a very useful chip and thanks for watching.